Hey boys and girls. You might be able to hear some birds fussing in the trees. This is a before video. We have a garden work day coming up this Saturday and it's been raining in the part of Texas where we live, which is super exciting. That doesn't always happen this time of year. You can see the grass is grown into the garden and you see that there's a lot of plants that need trimming back, but there's still a lot of green things growing. We'll have to straighten up our path here and pull all this grass. We have to trim back and pull out some of these vegetable beds. This middle bed, we're probably gonna leave for now. I might trim up the basil a little, but you see all these flowers that are still blooming? Our late season pollinators need them. So we're gonna leave them for a little bit. Over here, this raised bed, it's been raining and you can see it's flooded. It does not have good drainage. And so that's why the plants are struggling right now. So we're gonna have to dig the dirt out of this and put gravel in the bottom and maybe drill more holes. There's holes on the bottom, but we need to put some on the sides. Our Maximilian sunflower has not been blooming yet, but I see finally there might be some buds at the top see this one over here that's exciting that might be a flower bud we'll have to watch it it's getting pretty tall though look how tall our okra is that is about eight feet tall right now it is massive and there's okra to be harvested at the top i may have to bring a ladder out here and all of these vines are sweet potatoes our garden club meets next week and it'll be time to start digging and peeking and seeing if there's any available i'm going to show you something funny over here under the bird feeder Sometimes there's corn in the bird feeder, and look, there's corn growing on the ground. We'll probably pull that up though, because it's not a good place for it to grow underneath our tree. Our old sunflowers need pulling out. We'll probably have to saw their little trunks at the bottom and get them out and get that big bed ready for planting for the fall. Our zinnias are still alive and kicking, but we need to trim up some of the dead ones. It's called deadheading and get them ready to bloom some more because it's not quite cold enough yet for them to die back. Today, I really need to harvest some of these yellow banana peppers, and I think that it's time to pull out our cucumber vine. It is done. We might try planting another one in the fall as soon as our hot, hot weather's over. Down here, I'm hoping our rhubarb makes a comeback. You see it's been down here getting eaten by the bugs, and that's good because then the bugs don't end up eating are beautiful and very tall. Oh my goodness, look at that one, okra. Over here, it's time to check on the watermelons and cantaloupes again and see which ones are ready for harvest and look at our bean plant. How exciting, we're gonna have some black eyed peas. It's a beautiful day in the garden.